Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in form for lesson 8 and the topic is poultry production and the subtopic is the types of rearing a system. On to the lesson objectives. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, explain how full layering uh, system is done. And number two, state the advantages and disadvantages of full uh, system. And number three, you state the requirement of a deep litter uh, system. Um, on to the... The fold system, uh, you can see there is a house, a fold uh, house system here, uh, and you can see a third of it is sheltered, meaning that they will secure themselves during the night, that's where they normally uh, sleep. And in the course of the day, you can see three quarter of the house is covered with wire mesh, and you can see the pottery inside. And this is where they normally take the feed uh, from, and also where they normally exercise in the course of the day. Uh, then uh, we go to the, um, the advantages uh, of fold system as you can see uh, the, uh, the, the fold system as it is uh, there is even distribution of manure because the fold system uh, is portable and therefore it is moved from one place or of uh, one place to another within the compound and this in this way it is result to even distribution of manure and they require less uh, less feed and this is because they can uh, feed on the vegetation which are within the area where the fold system is placed. Then number three, control of, uh, of spreading of diseases. Yes, as a result of this rotational movement of the fold system, uh, it makes sure that the, uh, the, 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 the diseases and the parasite are not uh, accumulating in one particular uh, region. Uh, then we will go to the disadvantages of fold system and the first disadvantage is uh, rears a few birds. Uh, in this method you cannot compare it with the free range system because this uh, system uh, uh, permit al uh, or allows few birds to be reared. Then it is rebarious and number three difficult to keep, uh, it is very difficult uh, to keep um, to, keep, to keep individual egg production record from one bird uh, because uh, you will not know which uh, bird has laid and which one has not laid. Then uh, we will go to the deep litter system and the requirement include uh, number uh, one, we have the feeder as you can see them here. These are the structures which are meant for uh, putting the, uh, putting the, the feed and uh, also you need a house that is another uh, requirement uh, then we we you need a site uh, it actually it should be on a uh, uh, on a gentle sloping area to facilitate drainage and also water are required these are structures where you are supposed to put uh, to provide water to the poultry then you require the roost and the patch where the birds will be resting while in the houses then we have a poultry house here you can see uh, it is well illustrated and inside there is uh, there is some materials which are put there there is rita there uh, Rita can be made up of uh, sawdust. Uh, uh, sawdust is one of the main uh, material which is needed uh, when it becomes to a uh, litter provision. Then we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to mark the end of this lesson by giving you assignment. The first question is you're supposed to state any three advantages of fold system. And number two, you're supposed to state any three requirements in a deep uh, litter a system. Uh, then for reference you can refer from the secondary agriculture student book uh, for and the publisher is the Kenya Literature 
uh, Bureau. Uh, for more information, uh, you can reach us uh, through the following addresses uh, using SMS, using the number which is well displayed for you. And also you can use YouTube at RMTV and Facebook platform at LMTV and finally Twitter at LMTV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson, goodbye.